Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to Newcom's YouTube channel. Today, we have a really special video plan for you. We just unboxed and we're going to review the Logitech MX Keys. It's the keyboard that Logitech wants on the desk of pretty much everyone. It's their default wireless keyboard. It's an ultra low profile, full sized keyboard with chiclet style keys that you will find mostly on laptops but the chiclet style keys are done really well anyways we'll, we'll get to the keys but for now let's talk about the design a little bit so we're dealing with a hard plastic construction and i had to check that because it does look like it's made out of aluminum it is very sturdy it does not flex uh or it has minimal flex so let's say the top portion is also hard plastic in terms of io there's just the usb-c input for charging this is not a wired keyboard you cannot use it in a wired mode it only uses the usb port for charging and you also have the on and off switch here which also turns on the backlight right now it is searching for the usb dongle that i disconnected to show you guys in a second which I will just do right now. So yeah, you have two modes of connectivity. Uh, you get the Logitech unifying dongle in the box, which is great because uh, you can pair multiple Logitech uh, mice and keyboards to one dongle. It occupies less USB ports. And if you lose one of them or if you break one of them, you can always use the other one that maybe comes with your other Logitech device to uh, use that one to pair uh, the, the all of your devices too. So that's a great feature. It's it's as good as uh, USB dongles can get for mice and keyboards. So yeah, that's one of your options. And the the three buttons here, you can cycle between the dongle or a couple of added Bluetooth devices. Because yeah, this also has Bluetooth. You're also seeing the the light flashing. Uh, this is the this is a backlight enabled keyboard, and uh, thankfully. Uh, the the keys uh, have uh, passed through lighting through the letterings on the key so you can see uh, the, the letters in, in a really dark environment you can see that the the light shining through the U it's not just light shining uh, light bleeding from around the keys you can actually see the light uh, coming through the letters which is great and the backlighting is uh, smart Logitech calls this smart illumination which really is just a proximity sensor added to the keyboard that uh, lights up the keys once it is, well, there you go, I didn't even touch it, uh, lights up the keys uh, when it senses that your hands are hovering around it and disables it when it senses that your hands are not hovering above it. Why does it do that? Well, to save battery, because uh, with the smart illumination enabled, you get around two weeks of battery life before you need to recharge uh, the keyboard through the USB-C port. Without it, you can go months on end without having to charge it. So if there's really one area where I would improve uh, the whole experience of the Logitech uh, MX keys is uh, some added battery life. The battery life with the smart illumination, I feel like it could have been better. But that's pretty much the only complaint that I have about this keyboard. So now let's take a look at the typing test. 
I'll come back in a second to talk about the typing experience and the feeling of the keys. Unsurprisingly, the typing experience is uh, really great, especially for a laptop style keyboard. That the mechanism underneath the switches is the chiclet style of keys that you see being used on laptops. But don't let that fool you. Don't let that make you think that, oh, uh, laptop keyboards or membrane keyboards are inferior to mechanical ones. That is absolutely not the case. That might usually be the case. And let me tell you from experience, whenever I review a membrane keyboard, I pretty much always default back to my mechanical keyboard. Let me turn off the flashing, it's a little distracting. Uh, whenever I re review a membrane keyboard, I always default back to my uh, mechanical keyboard. But this time I'm very torn because I very much enjoy the typing experience on this membrane laptop style keyboard. And I feel really fast typing with it. So I think I'm just going to keep this on my desk, having used a whole bunch of mechanical keyboards because of not only the typing experience, the silentness of the of the keys, uh, which is definitely appreciated since, uh, uh, you know, everybody else in the house sleeps really early and I have to work late. The silentness really definitely helps. Uh, and also the options that I get uh, in terms of software functionalities with the Logitech Options software, very aptly named. So let's talk about that because that's a very important selling point for any modern Logitech Logi branded product. The Logitech Options app is packed full of features that allow you to really customize the functionality of the keys on a per app basis. You can change the functionality of the keys uh, depending on which window is currently active in your Windows or Mac system. You can do the same with any Logitech mouse that you have also. So that's definitely, that's, it, it, it kind of ties in the Logitech uh, computer peripheral ecosystem together through the Logitech options software. And uh, speaking of this mouse that is in my hand, uh, the keyboard also features Logitech Flow. So guys, this is the setup that I'm going to use to demonstrate how the Logitech Flow works. First of all, you need your Flow enabled mouse and keyboard. You also need at least two computers connected to the same network. You also need to have already paired up both of these devices to the Logitech Options Plus software on both of these computers. So then you need to go to uh, your mouse settings. In this case, this is an MX Anywhere 3. Go to the Flow tab turn on the flow toggle right here and it, you can see both of the computers that are connected to the same network you can even add another one if you so uh, if you if you want and you also need to take one extra step you go to more settings and toggle on the link keyboard option this is off by default so once you do that you're all set uh, so my cursor is on uh, this display I move it over to the edge and you can see the cursor now on uh, this device now and the keyboard has also moved with it this is the best part you don't even need to repair the keyboard which is I mean this is the whole point of it so I move the cursor back here the keyboard is here now all right now e even cooler than this is that you can actually transfer files and folders with this with this option so I will uh, just use control C on a folder I will just move the cursor here, control V, and you can see that it is transferring as fast as my router can actually allow the transfer to go. This is the ace up the sleeve of uh, Logitech's Logi branded uh, keyboards and mice. Uh, the MX Anywhere 3 is one of them, the MX Master 3 is obviously another one, the MX Keys is also flow enabled. This is an incredibly useful feature for people who use two devices at the same time, but they don't want to have to have two keyboards on their desk. That's a really cool feature that uh, should almost be added to the price uh, of uh, each of these devices. And well, I assume it is included in the price. But regardless, uh, a really great software experience. It, it seems like 
Logitech has the best software experience by far, and it's really not even close in terms of functionality, in terms of polish, and they even have different software for their uh, productivity-focused products, such as the MX Keys and the MX Master Series, and their gaming-focused uh, products, such as the, uh, the, the G502 with their Logitech Gaming Hub. Now, some uh, little details about the keyboard that I uh, forgot to mention is, well, uh, I already mentioned that you can seamlessly switch between the devices that you have paired to with these three buttons. It's a full-size keyboard, so you're getting all of the F row keys. You get full-size arrow keys and a numpad, plus some few buttons uh, extra on the top of the numpad. You got a calculator button, uh, a camera button, which could also function as really anything that you want. We could take a snapshot of the screen in front of you uh, and a couple of other buttons, including a lock button. And the F row keys also have uh, the laptop style functionality to them, like uh, controlling the media, uh, the, the backlight control, the brightness control, and the task view, and a quick switch to the desktop. So the typical shortcuts that you will find on laptop keyboards. So just to wrap up this review, this, the Logitech MX keys, is the gold standard of full-sized, ultra-low profile wireless keyboards meant for desktop use because this is a hefty keyboard it is low profile but it is heavy so this is meant for desktop use this is the kind of keyboard that i would not hesitate recommending to anyone gamers alike because there, you you don't notice any lag with the dongle with bluetooth i haven't uh, honestly i haven't tested the the lag with Bluetooth, but I don't imagine there would be anything noticeable. But with the dongle, I, I gamed on it. It was perfectly fine. I didn't really notice any misbehavior with the, with the wireless dongle. So I would mainly recommend this keyboard to productivity focused users. But don't think that because you like this keyboard, you like the looks of it, you like the functionality, you can't game on it because, oh, this doesn't look like a gaming keyboard. It works perfectly fine in games as well. But yeah, it, does, it doesn't have the gaming aesthetic. So if you're looking for that, yeah, I can't recommend this to you. For everyone else who are looking for a full-size keyboard with all the functionality that they need, media control, a numpad, and good, reliable wireless, as well as a really great build quality and a lot of extra features through the Logitech Options software, I cannot recommend the MX keys enough, especially with the really cool flow feature, which you will need a, a modern Logitech mouse like the MX Anywhere 3, like the MX Master 3 or 2. So uh, that would be like the, the ultimate combo for your desk. With that said, I'll end the video here. Thank you all very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like if you liked the video and subscribe to Newcom for other content like this. We do a lot of computer peripheral reviews like headsets, mice, keyboards, mouse pads, and everything in between. So once again, thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.